Did you know that this movie was Disney's most successful straight-to-video sequel? They sold 15 million copies of this movie. So I have three reasons why The Lion King 2 Simmons Pride is one of my favorite Disney sequels. The first reason is I like the storyline that this movie has. I think there's a lot to work with. There's a lot of the same characters coming back, but there's also a lot of new characters to work with. The reason why I like this storyline is inspired by a Shakespeare story. The first Lion King was taken from Hamlet. This Lion King movie is taken from the story of Romeo and Juliet. It's evident throughout the entire movie that one family doesn't get along with the other family and there's war and there's division. Eventually it all ends bad but in this movie it doesn't get to that level of tragedy. The second reason I love this movie is the villain Zira who is voiced by the late great Suzanne Plachette who is best known for her role in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Her villain was top tier. Zira is the Swahili word for hate and she is almost like the epitome of hate. And the way she worships Scar and the way she worships his ideals and his beliefs and just how she grew up in hate and is a loyal follower of Scar. She was like a zealot when it came to Scar and just his hate against Mufasa and Simba and that hate was passed on to Zira and the hate was also passed on to Kobu so it was a generational hate. You do feel sorry for her. I think her character is meant to have a lot of pity because all she knows is hate. There are a couple foreshadows in the movie where Simba was talking to Kobu about hate and how Scar had it. It eventually destroyed him and Zero was on that exact same path. So it's a lot of parallelism going on in the movie. And then the third and final reason why I think this movie is a great, great sequel is the message. It was a lot of the don't judge a book by its cover. It took a long time for Simba to realize that, but the outsiders were just like him and his pride. They were all lions. Sure, they looked different, they sounded different, they came from a different part of town, but they were still lions. The same applies to humans. We all look different, different sizes, different shapes, different beliefs, different colors, but in the end, we're all human, we all believe the same, and we all need to be united as humans. There's too much division going on. There's too many reasons why people hate each other, and we're stronger when we're together. We're stronger in unity. That's really what just sends this story all the way home is the powerful message of accepting others for who they are, no matter where they come from. So it's a very powerful lesson. I encourage everyone to just take that in and be inspired by that message. Like I said, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite Disney sequels. And it's on Disney Plus right now, so if you haven't seen it in a while, I recommend check it out. So for The Lion King 2, Simmons Pride, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mouth flaps. And remember, leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below. Who is your favorite character from The Lion King 2, Simmons Pride? See you next time.